Welcome to Weld.com. <clears throat> I had a request from a person that wanted to see some one, a 16 gauge thin stainless fillet weld horizontal. And I've set this up. Camera guy will zoom in on that rascal right there, keep me from holding it. I thought it was 18 gauge, but apparently it's not. Nah, it's a loose 16 gauge on here, 0.0598. So, uh, fillet weld, horizontal position. I'm gonna set this, I'm gonna use this block back here to keep it steady in case I stick the filler wire so that it doesn't jump around. Got a plume vent here to get the fume away from me. Um, I'm gonna use a 1 16th tungsten, which was requested. 20 cubic feet per hour, pure argon. I'm gonna use a 1 16th filler wire. The weld, once you get going, for me anyway, once you get going, I like to, I like to go pretty quick. So hope the, hopefully the cameraman will keep up. You gonna be able to keep up there, camera guy? Always? <coughs> I'm gonna be doing the left hand blow and go here. So we're gonna reset the camera. I'll get my sleeves on, my hood on, be right back. Keeping the filler wire down here on the material and just pulling it back and forth, doing a little dab. I'm also resting the cup on the material. Whoops. All right, I did a little slip there, trying to get myself repositioned with my wrist. Time to resharpen. We can show you what we got so far. Oops. Okay, I, uh, we made this weld here. I had the camera guy glance over. I set this machine at 130. I know I wasn't using it all, and he, I had him read it. He said at one point in time it was right around 65. I think I could have used less and still gone faster. Again, 1 16th stainless. I was using 1 16th 308 L filler wire, uh, 1 16th tungsten, a number six cup, about 20 cubic feet per hour. So, you know, I hope this uh, satisfied the viewer question. I haven't buffed this off yet. I wanted you to see some colors here. And I'll... And right down here was my little boo boo where I slipped. I went and resharpened and continued on. It didn't contaminate when I did that. It did turn blue immediately. I went ahead and brushed it, or uh, I didn't brush it, but I saw that it was clean. I really didn't have anything on the end of my tungsten, but I went ahead and cleaned it anyway. So again, came out pretty decent. So I hope this helps. I believe the other question was dissimilar metals in the same fashion here it would weld essentially the same. Uh, in that matter, if you're gonna do dissimilar, I'm assuming dissimilar would be carbon steel to stainless steel. Uh, you know, same thing, it, it, you're gonna use a 309L uh, stainless on that, more than likely, I would anyway, and it would weld exactly the same, it really would. I, you do not wanna use a carbon steel if you're doing stainless to carbon. Don't wanna use the carbon steel 
filler wire, always use the stainless. You gotta take care of the stainless alloy. So I hope this helps the, uh, the viewer that wanted to see 16 gauge thin material stainless in the horizontal fillet. So, hey, thanks for watching. I hope this helps out if we can help you in any way. I mean, we don't, you know, we're learning ourselves here. So make sure you subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching. I'm swinging like a 55, 59 year old fat man. Is that how you're bringing it? <laughs> oh, you're definitely getting your kicked now.